Clean up your walking before you learn how to run fast, right? Mikhail is going to just simply do her walking, but if you could have noticed, you could have stay on the balls of the feet and the ground is the enemy, right? You can see her bouncing, and if you look at the heels, her heels are slightly coming off the ground. She's peeling coming back. On the way back, you'll see the same thing, right? Here she comes again. Head is up, shoulders back, right? And it's a touch and peel at this point. Learning how to be a better walker will make you a faster runner. These are our prancing and jogging at the same time. Watch as Michaela gets ready to run, right? She's just kind of elevating the knees and really learning where the balls of her feet are. Coming, coming back again, right? Good posture in the upper body. These are the prances working on stride length and balls of the feet. So the next thing we're going to talk about is our upper body. So I want to have good power L's. When I run, I don't want my fists super tight. I don't want them loose, okay? So I'm going to almost pretend like I have a potato chip in my fingers. I'm just going to stack my bottom finger is right underneath, so I'm just like this, okay? I'm gonna start with a good power L, so this elbow is all the way behind me. And when we tell players here, it's pretend like there's somebody behind you you don't like, and that's how hard you're gonna switch these elbows. So it's gonna look like this. One more, switch. Now I'm gonna do a couple rapid ones. You should be able to move so violently that your lower body starts to come off the ground. That's your goal. Now besides mechanics and strength, a big piece of running fast is intent. You have to want to run fast in order to do that. You have to want to be violent, explosive, and you gotta to want to jet out at first base or in the outfield wherever you are. Okay. The next thing for my college players or high school players, they're getting ready to go to uh, some scout days or maybe even some showcases. All right, they're gonna time you in the 60. So a good way to prepare for the 60 is to run something longer than a 60 to kind of build up your oxygen tank and get your legs used to that endurance. So I would recommend running maybe 80 or even 100 yard sprints to get your times down to get ready for that. So the overall intention of running faster and getting stronger are great pieces of the puzzle. You have to go out there and run. Going to a speed class once a week isn't going to cut it. Try adding some uphill running into your routine and just going out and doing some sprints more than once a week. And don't just do one or two, make it a whole session. Another part of running fast has to do with nutrition and running so that you're fueling your workouts correctly just for baseball, softball, and your strength and speed sessions. You wouldn't put bad fuel in a Ferrari to run how it needs to be. So you want to take nutrition and make that a priority because once you get to college and you're playing every day, being fast and having the proper nutrition is going to keep you on the field, it's going to keep you healthy and having lower body fat and getting a little bit leaner is going to show up when you run. So you might have to take a look at what you're eating and how much you're working out, how much you're strength training, how much you're doing speed to get a little leaner that's going to show up in faster times on the field.